Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, uh, I will be taming a megalodon and a scorpion and trying to get them home. And in the process, uh, the megalodon does something quite impressive. At the moment, I'm just preparing. Uh, so when I start getting into stuff that I'm actually doing, I will come back to you and let you know. This is a... Uh, post commentary video this is something I haven't really done before so hopefully it turns out good So right about here, I find a Megalodon, uh, but this isn't the one that I wind up taming. Uh, I go and investigate, because it looks like it might be trapped there and I might not be able to get it out, and I wanted to get it home, which turned out to be the case. It was trapped in this little cove here. There was no way for it to get out. Uh, every way out was too shallow for it. So I wound up just uh, leaving this one here, uh, and then turning around and finding another megalodon just sh a short distance away. So, uh, we'll get to that and yeah, I take one good look at it and I'm like, all right, I can't take you home. So I just left it.
And right about here, I land on this rock, and out of the corner of my eye, I see the Megalodon that I'm going to tame. So, I go, uh, I go down right about now, so I can take a look to see what level it is. And then afterwards, uh, there's going to be a long pause where I'm checking to see how many Trank Arrows I'm going to need to take it down. Uh, so, yeah, I, I, I equip my Trank Arrows and then I look up to see how many Trank Arrows I'm going to need to take it down. And it turns out that I don't have enough on me, so I need to go, uh, I need to go make some more. And as I'm on my way back, I spot an Argentavis. And I know I have enough Trank Arrows for that. So I decide, hey, I'm going to land and I'm going to try and tame an Argentavis when I'm on my way back. Because we could always use more Argentavises. So here I am, shooting the Argentavis. It's coming for me. But I did not realize that my Pteranodon uh, was set to neutral. And my Pteranodon winds up killing the Argentavis. I was a little upset about that. So, I uh, quickly changed my tame order group because I had the wrong one equipped. I tried to stop it from attacking, but it I had the wrong... Yeah, I, I wound up having the wrong group at, uh, equipped. So I changed the group and I head on home.
Alright, so I've gotten my Trank Arrows, um, I've gotten back, and I make sure that I turn the Trinidad on to passive, because I don't want him attacking things I'm trying to tame. And then I proceed to start, uh, Tranking the Megalodon. Now I, uh, I tried keeping track of how many shots I took, but, uh, every time I missed, it, like, threw off my count. And I think uh, this next time that I miss, I just completely lose track of my count altogether. And I'm just like, all right, well, I'll just keep uh, putting tranks into this thing and hope I don't kill it. Thankfully, I didn't kill it. Yeah, that one right there. That one threw me off because it looked like it should have hit, but it didn't. So I just start pumping tranks into it, and and then I knock it out. So, uh, it's just so you know, I have a 50 times taming multiplier, so I'm able to just leave, uh, I'm just, I'm able to just leave it alone and let it tame while I go do another, uh, while I go do other stuff. Uh, not necessarily going to be able to do that. Uh, right here, I wasn't sure if I tranked it or not, or if it was knocked out or not, so, but I started suffocating, so I had to go up for air, and then I go and check, and then I'm find out that it's unconscious and I go get food for it so uh, after this I'll, f I'll wind up spotting a scorpion across the way and I'll decide hey I want to tame that as well so I go and tame that there I get it taming and my turn it on gave me a little bit of issues at this point trying to get it over here but uh, I get it all figured out and we get the taming underway forgot to mention this little pause right here, uh, this little pause, I'm looking up to see uh, how many trank arrows I need uh, to tame the scorpion. And I didn't realize it at the time, but I didn't have any spoiled meat on me, which would have made the taming go a lot faster, even though I have a 50 times taming modifier. So uh, I wind up using raw meat, which isn't as effective. But it now eats spoiled meat and spoiled meat only and it is a very happy scorpion uh, also uh, the max level thing that I have uh, like I have it set up to get your character to max level really quickly it only takes like a minute and it works on the dinos as well dinos don't take as long and they take like uh, they take like 45 seconds in their max level or something like that uh, but I didn't, I don't like to, uh, when I'm alone, for some reason I don't like to, uh, max out their level until I'm at home. So, I did not do anything with the maxing out of their level. Only took three Trank Arrows, which is exactly what it said it would take. So I pulled the raw meat out of here, I was hoping for some spoiled meat, but... 
Put it in the scorpion. And we get the scorpion tame underway. So here's a testament of how fast the taming speed is. Uh, I just went and checked on the uh, on the megalodon uh, right after I started taming the scorpion, and I come back and the scorpion's already tamed. Uh, however, I was too far away for it to uh, kick me into the name your scorpion menu. So now I'm looking for the saddle for both creatures. And uh, after uh, after I find the saddle for uh, for them, I look up what I need to make a scorpion saddle, and uh, I realize that it's really easy. I could make it really easily, uh, but I need hide, and I don't have any hide on me. So I check the pteranodon. The pteranodon doesn't have any hide on them. So I do a quick look to see if there's any hide, quick hide nearby that would get me enough hide, uh, and Really, anything could have gotten me enough hide because uh, I have uh, I have increased gathering as well. But uh, but I couldn't find any quick hide nearby, so I decided to just uh, go home and uh, and grab one of the, uh, or grab the Argentavis that we already have. Uh, I believe I do a quick check before I go and, or no, I don't do a quick check before I go. Uh, I just go grab the Argentavis and then when I come back, uh, the Megalodon is tamed.
So I come back and the Megalodon is tamed and this is where I start learning that trying to get both the Megalodon and the Scorpion back at the same time is going to be a pain. Because apparently they have a feature in the game where any water creature that you're trying to move will only recognize that they need to follow you if you're in the water. <laughs> This became really annoying really quickly. And the Megalodon was just kind of like stuck on that rock there. So I thought, hey, I'll just get on the Argentavis and we'll travel over to the other side and get him unstuck from the rock. Thinking, hey, he'll just follow me while I'm in the air. Which did not happen. I mean, he did look in the direction that I went, but that's about the extent of his following. So I decide, hey, I'm just going to go land over here, but he didn't seem to be following, so I'm like, hey, I'll just come land over here. And I landed, and I'm like, oh, why is he not coming to me? So I went to go check to see if he was still following, and he, he, as soon as I entered the water, he started following. I'm like, alright, well, that, I guess that works. So I go over didn't think anything of it and I think I pick up the scorpion right away and I decide hey we're gonna go yep here we go pick up the scorpion and we're gonna go and I didn't notice that the Megalodon was not following me at that moment but I'm like alright we'll just get going over this way and then right about here I check behind me and see that the Megalodon is still just sitting there I'm sitting here thinking what's going on this is when I learned that it's going to be a pain to get the Megalodon home if I'm trying to fly. And yeah, right about here, I'm like, all right, can I just jump in here? And I'm like, wait a minute, am I going to be able to get back up on the rock? No, I'm not. So I got back on the Argentavis and I went down to the shore. And now we slowly work the Megalodon out into the open water. So right here, I wasn't thinking, and I just made a long jaunt down the shore. I wasn't thinking about how far away I was getting from my Megalodon. I just thought, hey, I'll just get into the water, and boom, there he'll be. He'll be right there, but I forgot that they have a certain distance that they can see you. So I land right about here because the bird was running out of stamina, and I go and I get into the water 
and nothing happened. My, I'm sitting here thinking, where'd my Megalodon go? And I remembered, oh yeah, I'm too far away for him to know that I'm in the water. So I have to go get back on the Argentavis and go find him. And see where he's at and see if I can get him to come down the shore better. So right here, I jump into the water, I don't see my Megalodon, I look over, and I see a glowing shark, and that's odd to me, because I'm like, that's an alpha shark? I look, and yep, there it is, it's an alpha shark. It's an alpha Megalodon. So I jump up, and I look down, and oh, there he is, and he starts getting attacked. And from here, I think, I start talking a little bit more, so I'm going to let me in game finish this off but this is an epic battle and uh, do note that I did not level up this Megalodon at all and I am extremely proud of this Megalodon job. 